Hello, and welcome to Pilates. Today, we're going to do a full body workout, uh, riffing on some of the stuff that we do all the time, trying to include the whole body. There's going to be some propping, which means we'll be planking, getting on our sides and stuff like that. So for those, you can do them all the way down on the wall or in tabletop position if you have a tendency to hold things in your shoulder, and that's not good for you. But we'll start with our head over our tailbone, our belly button to our spine, our ear, shoulder, and hip in alignment. I really want you to be on your sit bones. So if you need to take your leg out in order to do that, feel free. We're going to inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale. And exhale over to the first side. Your bicep is over your ear. Your head is over your tailbone. And you're pushing toward the wall with your hand. And you're pushing toward the mat with your cheek. So you get that big body stretch on that side. Really reach and don't let yourself roll forward. It's so easy to do that. She says, having done it many times in her life, put your hand on your ear, guide your head across your body. Everything gets a good exhale when you begin the stretch, when you open the stretch, and then you continue to breathe through the stretch. So inhale across and exhale into a turn. Your shoulder is toward the screen or whatever you consider front. You have a rotation going on. And again, you're still planting that cheek into the floor. This is a nice side stretch, and if you want to stay here, that's cool. If not, follow me to the spinal twist. So hand on the thigh, the other hand comes up around to the your tailbone. Take a big inhale and exhale, turn, big inhale and exhale, turn, lifting up as you go. Big inhale and exhale, turn. When you get back there, three breaths. Yeah, really make it work. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to center. Roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders forward. And switch your legs. Again, you can take your leg out if you need to. Inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale and inhale over to the other, exhale over to the other side. So again, we're pushing our hands toward the wall, pushing our cheek into the mat, and we're really lifting out of that hip, creating a big space in the side of our body. That's where a lot of our moving mechanism is, right? So put your hand on your thigh, especially in full body exercises, and take it across. Make sure you're still over your tail mum. All right, big inhale and exhale for the rotation. Nice side turn, really pushing through, pulling across. And hand on the thigh, the other hand behind. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Begin, lift, lift. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Stay lifted. Three breaths. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to the center. Hands come out, palms together, fingers intertwined, palms out to the front. You're gonna take a big inhale and exhale that back into an open vertebrae. Really pull that belly button in, really feel that sinking position without actually moving the rest of your body. It's gonna open with that sinking position. All right, release it down, put your feet into seated butterfly. You're right here with your legs out to the side. You want some space in here. You don't want to have it all the way in here so that it's pushed into your groin. Hands in front of the ears. We're going to fold into a reach, not all the way down. So big inhale and exhale, reach across. Take those shoulders, really consciously push them away from your ears. There you go. Now you've got it. Breathe into it. And again, good. Now palms to the ceiling, lower your elbows and curl yourself up. Take your feet hip width apart. We're gonna make this a slow windshield wiper to feel the stretch in the hips. They're gonna be part of the game today. Yeah, good, you got it. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, stretch it, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna go down to the mat. <clears throat> Put your feet into the, into the mat. Right in front of your knees and lift your head over your tailbone. We're coming down vertebrae by vertebrae, sinking into that belly, taking it one vertebrae at a time. Ooh, that feels so good. Head comes last. You lift your glutes, take it down the mat, wiggle your upper body up the mat. Let's check our bodies. Hands on the belly. Inhale, exhale. To the backbone without pushing your lumbar into the floor. Your lumbar is where you get your flexibility and your movements. And then take the abs up and under the ribcage and close that ribcage. So 
So basically what you're doing is you're opening up the back of your body in order to have a foundation for these core exercises. Now there's gonna be a few exercises that might be on your tailbone. So keep your folded towel nearby if you need it for those exercises or you will be able to do them lying all the way down. But let's start with our warm up. We're gonna start with a single leg stretches. And I'll show you uh, a modification if you're not doing good curl up. So take your legs to the tabletop, curl yourself up, look in between your thighs, right? You have to look between your thighs. That's where your eyes stay. They never go to the ceiling. Hands behind the head. Oh no, sorry. Hand on the hand on the ankle, hand on the knee. Extend the other leg up if you have back concerns, out if you don't. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. All right, you can be down here. Do not lift your leg up. I mean, your uh, head up if you can do a curl up, right? So you don't want a halfway thing. Good. Keep going. Good. Stretch it out. Pull that belly in. Don't get mesmerized by your feet. I want you to keep those eyes between those thighs. Eight more. Eight. Good. Seven. You've got it. Really reach six. The last five. And four. Hands always land on the ankles and the knees. Three. And two. And one, nice job. We can leave those legs there for the hundreds. We can take them out for the hundreds or take them straight up for the hundreds. And again, you can be down for this. It's entirely up to you. I like to be up because it feels like my back is more protected. Again, looking through those thighs. Inhale for five, exhale for five, pumping until we get to 100. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 10. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, Four, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 50. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 70. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, Three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Lower those legs, drop them to one side, and then drop them to another, and get ready for roll ups. So, I'll start you with modified roll ups. You do whichever one you want to do. So, if you're comfortable with the long leg one, I'll get to that one in three. Now, we're going to do different segmentations of this. So, let's pay attention to the cues. Inhale up, exhale to the reach. Now you're gonna scoop across your legs. You're gonna reach and come back down in the count of four. One, two, three, and four. Nice. Inhale up, exhale to the reach. Inhale across, reach, reach, reach. Exhale up, come down one, two, three, and four. Third one with the bent knees, and then I'll move on to the more standard one. And take it to the reach, and take it across, and take it to the reach. Come down one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to go long-legged, but we're also going to change what we're doing with the roll-up. We're going to do a rotation. So again, pay attention to cues. Inhale up. Reach to the right. Open the arm. Bring it up. Reach to the left, open the arm, take it across, take it up, bring it. So basically you're doing a side, middle, side, and then back to the stretch. So inhale up, you go to the reach to the side, open up, lift up, open up, lift up, reach across, bring it up, and take it down. Let's do it again. Inhale up, first side, take it to the reach, your arms are closed, open and lift and open and lift, reach across and lift and it's down two, three, four, one more like this. Inhale up, take it to the right, open up, take it front to the left, to the front and take it up and up and take it one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do a variation on this. So what I'd like you to do, whether your knee is bent or it's extended, is I want you to lift one leg off the floor. So you're basically gonna have to get yourself up with that core because you're not gonna be able to engage those hands. 
So inhale up. I'm going to move everything to a higher position. Take it across. Hard to reach. Bring it back up and take it all the way down. All right, second side. We're going to do this two sets of these. So no side turns. We're just going right to that lifted leg. Take it up and across. How far can you reach? Take it up and bring it down. Other side, lift it off. Inhale up, take it to the reach. Stretch to the reach and bring it all the way down. And the last side, how many sides do we have? Inhale up and take it to the reach. Stretch across, take it to the reach and bring it all the way down. Nice job. All right, so what else? Let's see, I wrote a script for today. What else is on my script? Oh, this is great. So you might need the pad for this, your uh, tailbone pad, and you might not. But what I'd like you to do is, um, well, you can also do it lying down, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we're in our <clears throat> C-curve position. You can have one leg down, one leg up. But basically what we're doing is we're taking it out, lowering and in, just one leg out and in. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two. Now, if this is hard on your back, three, just lie all the way down. Four, and bring it in. I'll just show you. Five, good. Six, nice. Seven, eight, nine. Good job. And 20. Bring yourself up. Take a rotation, make sure we get, pay attention to our backs. And inhale and exhale over to the other side. We back to the center, bring yourself back, bring those legs up. Out and one, out and two, three. So I want you to lower a little bit as you go, extending that leg so that you get that long body thing. Six, seven, eight, nine, Ten more. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And twenty. Bring it up. Rotate again. That feels good. And again. Now we're going to take that into a double leg. Except we're going to start from the mat. Okay. So we're going to come down here. And we're going to bring the chest and the elbows together. I mean, chest and the knees together. Oh, my God. hope I'm not, like, verbally delayed in all these things today. All right? Inhale. Exhale together. And down. Two. So the hands go to the side. The elbows go beside the waist. Three. Good. Four. Good job. Five. Perfect. Six. Seven, keep going. Eight, if I go too fast for you. Nine, then slow it down. Doesn't matter if you do 20, 10, you could do 17. The other thing you could do is on one, do them on the floor. If you just, I like this too. If you can't come up into this three, uh, the two reach three, come on. Four, elbows by the side. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and 20. Stay up here and come on over onto your side. All right, we're going straight down the mat. Make sure that your arm is out of your shoulder, your hip is tucked under, and your legs are straight. See what I said we're going to do? Oh, this is fun. All right, um, hold your arm. So you have your bicep below. Good. Arm is up. We're just going to lift and lower the legs together about two inches off the floor and down for the first set. One, two, three, four, it's 20, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Ten, one, two, Three, both legs, four, try not to roll back, five. And again, some of you might need a hip, a hip pad, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 20. Hold them up and bring yourself up onto your arm. Now, you're going to put, you can just put your arm up. We're going to reach for our foot as it folds back. Good. Two. Nice. Three. I just the door. Four. Good. Five. Nice. Six. Stay lifted. Seven. Eight. Getting a little back behind the leg. That bottom leg is still off the floor. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Good job. Seven. Six. Five. So it, at first it feels really simple. Four, right? Getting lat work here. Three. And two. And one. Now put those legs back together and slide them apart. So you're taking the top leg back. You're coming up onto your elbow. Hand behind the head. You're going to bend the bottom knee. You're going to lift. And one. Curl. And two. So again, three. If this is not good for your back or whatever, get on your, and on your back and do crossovers. Five. Good. Keep that other leg off the floor. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good job. Ten. Good. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice job. Five. Again, are you rolling back? Six. You want to keep yourself as aligned as possible. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good job. And 20. Bring it over to your chest. To your belly. Okay. We're going to come back to sides later. We're going to do three sets of sides if we have time. So this is going to be one of our favorite ones with Lift our legs up, lower them, and lift our upper body up. And we bring ourselves into that rocking position. Good. If you can't do all of this, pick the lower body, the lower body, because we do less emphasis on that. So that's what you can do. So lift and lower those legs. And on the hands up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go for 10, nine. And 10, nice job. Now we'll go into the more static lift. Open up your legs, open up your arms, head is facing down, arms are apart, belly button to spine, 20, lift and lower both sides. You have to keep your belly in, and this will be damaging to your back. Inhale and exhale. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, or your shoulder blades down. It's so easy. Eight to get your shoulders up by your ears, right? Nine, <clears throat> ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and 20 and release. Hands under the shoulders. Push yourself back into child pose. Breathe it out and switch to the other side. So I'm going to repeat those three exercises that we did on the first side. Arm down the mat, head over tailbone. Belly button to spine. Bend your elbow to get a pillow. Tuck those hips under, arm up, arm to the front, wherever you keep yourself aligned, lift and lower. One, two, a lot more range of motion here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 20. Keep them up there. Now we reach as we bend. And two, and three. Keep the other leg off the floor. Four, five, getting lats. Six, raise the interior. Seven. Now if you have shoulder concerns, don't take the arm all the way over the head. Eight, 
Just bring it to shoulder height, nine, and 10 more. One, two, three, four, keep lifting, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Keep the legs separated. Bring yourself up onto your elbow, hand behind the head, and both legs off the floor, but we're only going to, we're gonna bend the front leg and bring it in, and one, it goes to a soft bend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten more. Good. One, two, keep this going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, good job, and 20. All right, coming back over. Let me give you a brief rest here. Take a nice deep breath. We're moving through these pretty fast. So we're gonna go into a plank, uh, a plank sequence. The first sequence is just gonna be holding it for a minute. The second is gonna be shoulders, shoulder taps. The third is gonna be hip taps. So the... Um, so you can modify that by having a leg down, doing it tabletop, or doing it against the wall. Okay, hands under the shoulders, on your mark, and then elbows by the waist, face down, get set, and bring it up for, you could be on your elbows or on your hands. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders, or your elbows are under your shoulders. Pull that belly button to the spine. That's pretty essential. So just hold it right there, right my nose. Just hold it right there. Breathe into it. Push through your heels. Feel that lift through your legs. Eyes down. Don't crunch your neck, whatever you do. Good. Nice. Keep going. You have 20 more seconds. Pull that belly up. Perfect. You're feeling it. You're feeling the plank. It feels so good. Keep going. 20 more seconds. This is nothing. You're old pros at this. Planking is our middle name. It's our love language. Plank is our love language. Right knees down, sit back into child pose. Great. Breathe into it. Nice. Keep going. Drop your shoulder blades when you go back into child pose. Don't let the don't let those shoulders push by your ears. It's very easy. Okay, a set of 10. There'll be 20 taps all together to our sh shoulders. You're going to tap the front of your shoulders, okay? And it's important to start in the position of the plank that is perfectly aligned. And again, you can be on your elbows with your palms facing each other, or you can be out on your hands. So touch two, three, four. I'm trying not to rush it. Five, so you can feel every bit of a six. Good. Seven, eight. Nice job. Nine and ten. Both sides, knees down, toes together. Sit back again. Shoulder blades below your ears. Shoulders below your ears. All right, we're going to come to the hip. The hip touch. Now, watch the tilting over to one side on this, especially if you're not core concentrated. You'll hurt your shoulder. So you really got to pull down to that core so that your shoulders aren't rotating while you reach to the to each hip, okay? So you might also make your legs a little wider just to give yourself more support. So let's get ourselves up. Touch the hip, touch the hip. That's one, two, good. Three, nice. Four, five, six, good. I'm trying to go slow, seven. This is slow for me. Eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. And down. Good. And I want you to bring your legs through and sit down. We're going to counter work that and still stay in our theme. We're going to do open leg rocker. Open leg rocker is a nice engagement between the upper and lower body. It's also a great Pilates exercise. And it feels like a stretch, right? Doesn't it? All right. So if you have trouble doing open leg rocker, 
One of the things you can do is just hold under your legs and roll back, all right? Trying to keep your legs as close as possible. But we're gonna start with the open leg rocker stretch. I'll give it a little, I can't do a diagonal on this side. But it's a thing. So come on up with your feet in front of you, your back protected, shoulder blades down, your head on your spine, take one leg up. Now, if you need to put the other leg on the floor to get this stretch, go ahead. But the open leg rocker is a lifted position. All right, and bring it down. Take the other leg up. Hold it. Good. Now, again, if you feel like you can't get it long and hold on to the ankle, hang on above the knee under the thigh, okay? Below the knee will cramp your body like that. So above the knee under the thigh. All right, bring it back in. Pull the blades down. We're going to take both up. I like I'm aiming into the furniture, but we'll see. Take it up. Rock it back. Yeah, I got two legs under. One, try not to drop like I just did. And two, three, four. Nice. Don't go on your neck. Five, press to your shoulder blades. Six, pull that belly in. Good. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring your legs into a fold. Nice, take a turn. And to the other side. I love it because my heart rate went up. Okay. I told you we were going back to the sides, but did I tell you it was going to be with plank? You're welcome. Okay, again, you can do this in a modified position. I'll show you that position. That's right here. Your side plank right here. So you gotta make sure your elbow is under your shoulder. You have a nice strong base and your upper leg is lifted off the floor. Some people do it by just lifting the upper body and keeping the lower legs down on the floor. The other option is straddle legs, stacked legs, right? So we're going to start with the 30 seconds. Then we're going to come in for the tuck unders, right? Okay. Let's see what 30 seconds will start. You make sure your elbow's under, under your shoulder, you're tucked under. Three, two, one, and lift. All right. On this side, I can do stacked because those are not my knee. So I'll hold it right there. Good. Breathe into it. So you want to feel that alignment from the shoulder all the way to the fingertips. So that should be a really beautiful reach. Come on. You only have 10 more seconds. Nice. Two more seconds and bring it down. I like to take the legs into a bend and then rotate my chest down for the stretch here. So it's like a reverse spinal twist. Okay, so now we're gonna do the tuck unders. Only 10, because I have another, I have a new exercise for you with the plank um, position. Okay, so we make sure our elbow is under our shoulder, our arm is up. We're gonna turn the whole upper body and take it under the, under the shoulder. Now, one of the things that's possible, if you don't wanna go up, this turn can happen even if you're lying here on the floor. That's what I'm looking for, that rotation in the oblique. So inhale it up. Let's go 10, one, lift up, two, nice, three, good, four, five. Now you're, you gotta keep pulling in here, six, in that core, or you're gonna feel it in your shoulder, and we don't like that, seven, eight, lift up, nine, you've got it, and 10, and lower it down. Now I want you to stretch that upper arm out, just stretch it out. And if you're doing it on your hand, I still want you to stretch it out, right? Instead of uh, your extended arm instead of on your elbow. Okay. You're going to separate the legs. Separate the legs so that they're straddled. It's going to be kind of a larger straddle than the straddle that we usually use. This is going to be a lift and lower in the plank position. So it's like the hip lift, except we're doing a straddle. 
Now we're going to do a straddle with a rotation. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you can look for the first one. So you're going to take a lift, lower, lift, and down. Got it? So you're going to rotate. Now, I want to warn you, this could be hard on the front knee. So if that's a knee of concern, just stay in the lift and don't do the rotation. Okay? When I was practicing it, I was feeling a little squishy on my knee. All right. You inhale up, across, up, and one, two, across, up, and two, three, take it over, up, and three, four, take it across, up, and four, five, take it across, up, and five, six, now don't push into your shoulder when you're starting to feel weak, what you do, seven, take it across, just pull that belly button down, put that weight down, eight, lift it up, take it across, and down, Nine, across, up, and 10, across, and lift, and down. Okay, that's it for that side. All right, let's get on to our backs before we go to the other side to do those same exercises. Fly all the way down. Okay, we're going to go to the teaser. So, I'll start with the modified teaser for three. We're going to do teaser now and teasers later. And then um, a regular teaser for th three, and then we'll see what else we're going to do. So the modified teaser starts with a tabletop. You inhale up. You can catch your legs and bring yourself up. Drop your shoulder blades. Take your arms up and curl yourself back to that tabletop. You can also do it without catching those legs. So inhale up. Push it out. Good. Hold it. And Bring it back down. Last time with the modification. Inhale up. Take it up. Good. And bring it back down. All right. We're going into the regular teaser. You can stay with the modified one. Now, what's important is inhale. Inhale. You float both the legs and the head off. And then exhale. Take it up. It's a nice gentle move. And then curl yourself down. Two more of those. Inhale and exhale and curl it down. Nice. Inhale and exhale and okay. So we have four more. We're going to do them with the bikini arms. It's a little bit harder because you're not getting the leverage of the reach. We're going to do two with genie arms and then we're going to do them with the knees coming in. So Bring the hands, bring everything off the floor, bring it, oops, <laughs> bring it up, try not to talk while you're doing it, and bring it all the way back down. Switch where the arms are positioned. Good. Inhale up, exhale a lift, and bring it all the way down. Nice, now arms behind the head. Same thing, we have two to go. So I'm trying to take out the lat being a support for this lift, but if you need to keep it in there, please do. Inhale up, exhale to the lift, and bring it all the way back down. And last one, inhale up, take it to the lift, and hug your knees. We're going over for planking on the other side. 30 second plank, tuck unders, and straddled hip lifts. I'm off script completely. We're into my script, we're doing push-ups. We did those recently, so maybe we'll do maybe more. Okay. Full body exercise. That's our motto today. So let's get into position for for our I've got to straddle on this one because this way, the bottom leg is the one that gets the, the uh, effect of the injury. All right, let's see. Eight after and bring it up. Good, we're going to 38. Make sure you've got that long line. Eyes straight ahead. Nice. Got it. 20 more seconds. You've got this. 10 more seconds. Go so fast. Nice. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Bring those knees up. Do the rotation. Breathe into it. 
my head's out of camp. Okay, talk on nurse. So I'm gonna straddle for this because again, the bottom knee is my injured knee. So lift up, one, and lift, two, three, four, good, whole body, five. So you wanna feel the rotation of the oblique, six, the rotation, seven, no weight in the shoulders, eight, so breathe it down, nine, and 10, okay. Let's reach that arm out. Get a nice, strong stretch here. Okay, so now we're gonna go to those lifts with the straddled leg. I was trying to figure out how to lift, switch the position of the legs and lower it, and then bring it back up again, but I'll try that some other day. All right, coming here, lift and lower for straddled legs. One, oh, forgot to turn. One, turn, one, two, turn, two, three, turn, three. I'll bring my elbow in more. Four, turn, four, five, turn, five, six, turn, six, seven, turn, seven. Good. Eight, turn, eight, nine, turn, nine, and 10, turn, 10. Bring yourselves up, take your hands together and push them out in front of you. I'm saying you rested on your shoulders, but I'm guessing you might have a little. And stretch it out. Good job. Okay. I'm loving what we're doing today. Coming back down onto our backs. Good. Remember, every time you come down back onto your back, you have to roll all the way down, separate the glutes, the hips from the ribcage. You want to make sure you get right back into that position. What's one of the best full body exercises we have? Get star. So take your arms out into a big Y, take your legs out into a big. V, right? And you can do this. We're going to do one side at a time. You can do this with support. I encourage you to even to get yourself lifted up if you can't get all the way up. You can do it with one arm coming across or both arms framing the opposite leg. But again, like the teaser and everything, that big inhale is your first important move. So you inhale up, exhale, reach and curl it down. Two, good, three to 10, three. Now, one of the things that happens with this, or people put their shoulders by their ears, they think they five, they think they can get the reach better if they do this. You can, it just messes you up. Six, nice, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 10, reach overhead. Make a cactus, take a nice deep breath, three of them. Good, and we'll go on to the other side. Remember, start with that exhale, get the back of your head on the floor. Make sure you're not like tip of the head back. All right, legs are pointed too, right? So they get, they have all that generated energy. So remember, the inhale is the most important part. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two. Three, four, five. This is actually one of my favorite exercises, six. And I like the rotation, seven. I know you can do it with one arm and get a deeper rotation, eight. But I really feel like that move to the side, nine, is benefiting the whole hip section, 10. Sorry, I talked right through it. All right, and come on back down. All right, going over to tabletop. More beautiful full body exercises we're going to do. So watch your crunch. We are into full body for love here. So we're only going to do 10 of these because we're going to do different sets in this position. Again, if this is not a position that works for you, do it against the wall. Do it standing. You can stand and just bring the opposite knee to the opposite elbow or elbow to knee. All right. Part of my problem with this exercise is put my hands a little bit in front of my shoulders. Because I'm so much into the downward facing dog world, that I have to consciously put it up under my shoulders. Okay, we're going to start with extended opposite arm and leg. Make sure they're nice and high. When you crunch, you curl 
the whole body and extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And extend it, make it nice and long, bring the hand down, bring the knee down, and we're going to the other side. Bend the arm and leg, make them nice and high. Eyes are down, curl, and one. The head travels with the curl. Two, curling upper and lower body, so you're reaching. Four, nice. Five, now, one of the things that wouldn't be good is leaning into that hand. Six, right? You wanna keep it core up in the center. Seven, good, eight, nine, and 10. Reach it out, make it nice and long, and then bring it back in. Drop your knees side to side, or hips side to side. Now, we're going to take the arms and legs to the side. We used to do this all this time, but we haven't done it in a long time. So basically, what you're going to do is take the arm up in one direction, leg out in the other. All right, I'm give myself a little more space here. Extend, oh, I still kick the door. Side and one, side and two. Try to keep it high, three. That's another thing that's hard about this. The leg wants to drop down four. So try to keep it up. Five, six, seven. Here comes the sun. Eight, nine. Good job. And 10. Bring it back to center. Down and down. Good. So much fun. Turn it this way so my leg isn't kicking the screen. <clears throat> Other side, one, and then your shoulder, two, keep it lifted, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it right here and then bring it back in. Nice job. Down to the mat again on your back. Give me some time in it. Oh, I lied. We have to stretch now. Darn it. Okay, one quick teaser set, right? They where we go to the side. We move the legs to one side, the arms to the other. That's really important in a whole body workout. You can start here. You can start all the way down. I'm going to start all the way down. We're going to do a quick, let's say, four sets. So one of the things that you should do as you lift to the center, inhale, and then immediately send the arms to one side and the legs to the other, then crawl back down to the center, and then do it to the other side. Inhale, exhale, take it across. And step number two. Inhale, exhale, take it across. Both things move. Back to center. Good, and take it across. And back to center. All right, so we have two more sets. That feels so good. Feels like a stretch almost. I know I'm crazy. Take it across and bring it down. Again, we're watching those shoulders from going up by our ears. And down, here comes your last set. Take it across and down. Take it across and down. Up to the knees. Hold them around. Don't put your hands on your knees. Let's put them under. Let's do that. Really circle. Just in one direction for now. Keep them side by side if you can, and then the other way. How did that class go so fast? All right, last three and two. That should be massaging your lumbar. Put your legs pretty far apart and come on up into a bridge to get a stretch right here. We work so much flexion this way. We want to extend a little bit. Hands down. I know this is an exercise, but it's also a stretch. Oh, it feels so good. Cactus. Take your arms in cactus. Let your body melt onto the floor by putting your belly button to the spine and drop your legs to one side. You're still in cactus. Your legs are to one side. It feels like a really good stretch in the hip. And knees come to the top and then they drop to the other side. 
This isn't an oblique stretch, this is a hip stretch because we don't have our knees up far enough. So that means we got to bring it up just a little bit more. So extend the arms, bring the legs to tabletop and take them to one side. Scoot them up a little bit more, get that extension. Look away from the bent knees so that you get a full body stretch. You get the serrated stretches, right? And then bring it up and then to the other side. Got that moving my shoulder. You know, that's something good. Sometimes when things move your shoulder, it's not bad, but I could tell that was like the reset. Now bring your arm around and we're coming up into our straddle. Like fun today. Yeah, All right, straddle. You want to make sure that you're on your sit bones, so you can bend your knees if you want to. We're going to do a lot of stretches here, then we're going to go back onto our backs because we got some more work to do. There's a lot to do. So roll your shoulders back. We used our shoulders a lot. We're going to do the eight rolls five in both directions six, seven, and eight forward. One, good. Keep yourself anchored, keep yourself lifted. Three, it's easy to fall back into this. Five, six, seven, and eight. Turn first to the hip. Walk it down into a curl. Now, the reason I'm doing this first is because it goes right into the hip flexor. Right here, walk that forward blade. That's on thigh as low as you can get, as square as you can get. So that's one thing that we do. Turns like this does not give us the same kind of um, stretch as our shoulders being parallel, right? Now walk out to your hip right here. Both hands are on the floor. Right, and then we're going to bring it back to that leg. You're getting a little more depth there because you've opened the back more. Yeah. And then bring it back to that leg. And I bet you get a little more depth. Bring it down. All right. Put your hand out. Cross from your knee and sweep the arm up over your ear to try to align yourself over your body. Now we're going to deepen that by taking that hand and tucking it under. There we go. Grab your ear, bring yourself up to center, then people keep going with that head. Whenever I say, oh, like that, it's because I heard a noise <laughs> inside my head. Eyes to the um, armpit, chin to the chest, and bring it all the way up. All right, we're going to do that on this side. Rotate to the chest, and let's bring it down. Good. Bring down, exhale, square those shoulders. Right. Now walk it out to the hip, both hands flat on the floor. Bring your elbows as much as you can. Walk it back over onto that leg. You'll probably get down a little bit more. Hand out from that knee and bring it over top. Make sure you square, center yourself over your um, sit bones. Yeah, tuck that arm under and get a little more stretch. And that fun. We get back to the center. We're going to walk it forward. The curl down, not a flat out, not a bit, not a hinge. Drop your shoulder blades now. Mm -hmm. The same. Reach to the legs, soft elbows. Put it back to the under your eyes. Go long. If your back gets un unfurled. Try to drop your shoulder blades down your back a lot. And then push your glutes into the mat so you get that extent. And then come on back. And walk it in. Now, let's go into our back because I'm going to put, I want to kind of do a washing machine to our legs, except it's going to be a cycle. So you're going to put your legs up. And I want them to go around out to the front. Quick. I know it doesn't feel like a stretch, but it's actually kicking out. All that stiff stuff we've been doing, all that holding, and then reverse it. Scoop it up, make sure it's a circle. Good. 
four and three and two and one. Good job. All right, let's bring it around to our tabletop. Inhale, bottom and up. Bottom and chin up, curl up like a cat, hold it right there and wiggle the upper and Four and three and two and one. Come back to the center, tuck it under and come on up. Push your chest toward your legs. Knee forward, heel down. Knee forward, heel down. Those heels down, keep pushing that chest in, gets you the longest stretch ever. I'm walking in. Hands on the thighs to begin. Just hold it right there. You have a nice flat back. Roll up into your lifted position. I think we forgot to do the ear on the side. Roll into the chest, drop it, and bring it back. So now we're going to stop. Popping those knees and let's whip it out. I know we're running a little bit late. We're running into the roller. Eight, seven, six, but it's okay. Five, four, three. I'm not going anywhere. Two and one. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming to a full 